Hello, hello, I'm your girl, Michelle Hope Walker, actress, a rapper, singer, comedian, personality. What's up, y'all? All right, so this is Racism Against Black Women docu-series, a real conversation, <laughs> okay? Um, let me date this. So today is January 31st, 2022. January 31st, 2022. Um, today, the key point of this discussion is talking about Pamela Bryant, Pam Bryant, Kobe Bryant's mother, um, and also on how they treat black mothers, how our society, racism against black women, racism against black mothers, racism. So we as black mothers, because you all know I have four grown children and I have four um, grandchildren. And so um, you all know how it is that it takes for, you know, us, it takes, we pour to our kids and we build our kids up as black mothers we have to protect our kids you know black mothers have to raise their kids in a certain way other races and ethnicities do not have to raise their kids you know we have to protect our kids we have to teach them on you know um you know how to act and how not to act you know reminds me of the Emmett Till film that they just showed recently she had to you know talk to Emmett Till when he went down south on on um, how not to look a white person eye and just different things. You know, now that was at the time of then, but still, it gave you an example of the type of instructions that black mothers have to give to their black children that a lot of other races and ethnicities have not had to give to their children and teach their children um, about. But these are the conversations that that we have to have with. Um, our kids. Why? To help keep them safe. So even today, we still have to tell our kids, okay, when you walk the street, when you go to school, you know, you have to make sure that you're listening and following directions of the teacher. Even if a kid is missing, is messing with you and picking on you, you tell the teacher. Um, and then you come home and you tell me. You don't want to be too quick to fight back. Why do we teach our kids that? Because when they fight back, they're going to be the one getting in trouble. And, and sometimes they ain't even going to pay attention to the kid that was actually messing with your black child. Because they're going to be so focused on trying to cruise your black child and blame your black child because they're black and they have a negative idea about black children. They just figured your black child did it. So therefore, you know, so again, black mothers, you know, so here you got Pam Bryant who had built up her son. You know, she, her, her and um, Jellybean, um, Joe, Joe Bryant, you know, and I love that they're a couple. They've been together, they're married, they've been together, and they're still together today. You know, so shouts out to Joe and Pam um, Bryant, Kobe Bryant's parents. Um, but right now I'm focused on Pam because this is about racism against black women and the racism that is continuously being done against her because she's a black mother. So here you got Pam raising her child. Also, recently I just posted because I was watching a show and the guy was saying that Kobe has said he got the black mamba mentality from his mother. Okay? So see, that came from a black woman. So thank you for all y'all buying the books and 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 and, and, and tuning and, and, and shouting the uh, mamba mentality. Thank you, because that came from us, black women. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, um, so um, here you got Pam. She didn't protect her son. She didn't help him. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, bless her. I, I really think they lived a great life, you know. Um, so Joe been a basketball player. They lived over in Italy and then they came back to Philly. You know what I'm saying? And Pam and Joe together strong, you know, right there. And um, so um, and, and Pam, you know, the mother. So she's raising the kids and doing the different things. And Joe's right there, of course, raised because I like to see like they did up here. Um, but I know the um, person who just, uh, the book, that he, he just put out the Rise Up of Kobe, something sort of like that. Um, um, where he also mentions that um, Pam was maybe more of the, um, uh, well, I don't know why he want to say she was more of the disciplinary, but I'm sure that they, I can see that Joe and Pam both disciplined. You know how they like to say about them anyway. Um, so yeah, he got Pam that then raised her kid up, that then got Kobe together. Here Kobe is now about to, um, he, he playing basketball, Kobe signing with NBA, you know, the mother and protected him and, and kept them all together this whole time, got him, raised him up safely. Now this is what we got to watch is that they really ain't thinking about our child when we raising them. Trying to protect and getting together. But then as soon as our children succeed in something that, quote unquote, this society, this mainstream, 
you know, want to buy. So maybe your child a rapper, a singer, or actor, lawyer, whatever it is. Um, it don't have to be all that. Just whatever your child do. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't like us to feel like those are key roles. You know, whatever role. You know, because everything my children, children are doing very important. You know what I'm saying? And so everything. You know, but you have to watch because it's your kids succeeding sometimes. And and, and now we're on the but then again, we're talking about the money level of the status quo. So also keep in contact what I'm talking about. You know, I'm talking about your kid parents black mothers who have kids that are having billions trillions of dollars that are in this mainstream society that is trying to control their child and they're trying to take the black mother out of the picture because that is what happened with Kobe. I'm sure Pam stayed involved, but well, of course she was involved. You know what I'm saying? So I believe it's probably some decisions they started wanting Kobe to make. And Pam probably was, you know, again, she's protected over her son, as us black mothers are. Our kids, period. You know what I'm saying? The sons and daughters. Um, and, um, you know, I think they wanted to railroad over Pam in the sense that they didn't want her to have any say to Kobe's decisions and what he, you know. And I'm sure that she still was, especially as Kobe got wrong, was letting him make the decisions. And since you didn't let the kid, but still, you there looking, you know, a black mother, no, you know, we be still looking and we be, you know, but then they, hey, watch, you know, and I'm not saying she did this, but I know what I do. You know what I'm saying? You be looking at who around and be letting them know, hey, this person saying good with this person, you need to watch. So anyway, they painted Pam to be just such this bad person. Bull crap. Bull crap. You know, bull crap. And I like me some Kobe. I love me some Kobe. I got a chance to meet Kobe. Kobe was very nice to me. Let me tell you this. Even when I met Kobe, they was doing a racism against black woman, women on me. He only came up there and took the picture with Kobe. I didn't know it was a certain thing. And, and they were going, well, you can't. They were trying to block me. And Kobe's like, let her come on over. Let her come over. What the... That let me know something right there too about Kobe because then later you find out about that uh, the, the guy talked about how Kobe also was on his Black Student Association in um, high school. So yes, Kobe spoke Italian and yes, Kobe was diverse with different races but Kobe wasn't scared of Black women. That's what that taught me. And I think I constantly you look at some of my, on my uh, Instagram line when that first happened. I think I even tell the story a little bit. I'm like, Kobe for black women. What's up, Kobe? Kobe for black women. I, you know, because especially out here in Hollywood, these black men get Hollywood on you. You be walking down the street, they turn their head like they scared. If they look at you, you're going to like them. I don't think about you. <laughs> And please don't let them have their other ethnicity um, other than uh, a black woman with them. They be holding her like you're going to do something to her. I'm like, I do not want Because you all know me. I love everybody, right? <laughs> so I love no matter what race you are. I love everybody. You know, but this theory that they will grab a hold of, you know, like me, the black woman is going to be mad because he's like, I don't care who you with. That's your business. <laughs> Anyway, um, back to Pam, Pam Bryant. That's what we're talking about, the racism that they have done against Pam as a black mother. It's sad. It's just really sad. First, they try to say something. And I don't even know if any of this stuff is true. I do not know it. I don't even care. The point is that that is Kobe's mother. So what I was saying, oh, I was saying part right. The part that I do like Kobe and I thought Kobe was nice. But I do feel like that, you know, um, whatever was going on, that Kobe should still make sure that he honored and respected his mother. But see, then that goes back to the training. See, that goes back to the slavery days where they try to, especially when your child's succeeding, even in these days, they try to separate you from your child. They brainwash your child. They try to tell your child, oh, she trying to do this to you, Kobe. Oh, she trying to do that. Oh, da, 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 da. You, know, you got people in your ear, you know. Now, your mama that raised you and got you to this point. And now they want to come in and separate you from your mother over some money. Because that's really be what it's about. It be about money. Over some money. Because they want the money. Because sometimes I keep hearing something about a house. And I say, I'm like, if his mama wanted a house, I don't care where she wanted that house. First of all, she had him literally out of her body. She created him. So basically, I feel like whatever house she wanted, Kobe just should have been like, Go get it, mama. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Ain't no more discussion about it. Go get it, mama. And I'm sure that's what Pam probably felt at that time, too. 
before if there was any discussion, you know, because then I heard some discussion. He was like, well, you can have this one, but you can't have that one. And I think they were saying Vanessa came in with something you can't have. I don't know. And again, don't mind wrong. I don't know. So if it's going to get mad at me, I don't know. I'm just talking about story. I don't know. I don't know, but I do know <laughs> that after you have raised a child and you've been there for them, and they all of a sudden get a whole bunch of money. No, you ain't about the money because you're the mother. You love them. It was about the money. You wouldn't have raised them all the way all the time they was broke. <laughs> But now when they get some money, yes, they can share that money with you at least at some point. And from what I just came to the house, it don't seem like that they were trying to just gobble up all this money. You know, get a house. If I'm not mistaken, something about a limited to a house that you can stay in between. I'm like, hey, what? You give her. But again, that's under the water because Kobe's gone. We can't go. But my thing is, I just felt like, you know, that, you know, he should honor his mom. He shouldn't. Have. You never let. So, guys, men and women, you don't ever let anyone come between you and your mother. And again, we're talking about black women because see, they do this to black women. And again, back to the tolling pole. Y'all know we're going to put that tolling pole out. Yes, every show, the tolling pole comes out. Because the tolling pole has a lot to do with why on today, even after Kobe is gone, because they're talking about they just did the induction or whatever, and I don't even know if they invited Pam and Joe to the induction, or I don't know what happened. But some, I didn't really get dive into the article to read it to see what's going on. But I'm like, Kobe is gone, and these people are still crucifying Pam Bryant. They cannot stand that she is the mother of Kobe. They want to accept Kobe, but they don't want to accept the black mother. We still do with that to, deal with that today. With my kids and raising my kids, it's different things that, you know, when they're making A's, they're doing good, and they get all this and that. They want to try to scoot you. Oh, boogie boogie, if you don't scoot your butt back over, you ain't scoot me about this bitch. And when they get grown and they get talking, they, you got to just, okay, you know. But you try to hang in there, you know, especially when you say they're trying to rail out your kid or they're trying to, because a lot of times, the only reason why they're trying to scoot the black mama out it's because they trying to do some stuff they ain't got no business doing. And you know, mamas, you know, we be feeling that Holy Spirit. We be feeling that Holy Spirit, that God, when something ain't right. We be like telling our sons and our daughters, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? Now, when they grown, they going to do what they going to do. We let them do what they do, you know, because I say busy. But, you know, we, you know, if God lead us to say something to them, we do. Okay, so back to Pam and, and with Kobe, you know what I'm saying? So, and, and what was, basically, the key thing I was saying is don't you let nobody come between you and your mother. I don't care about the money and the fame. And again, you all, I'm talking about in this fame and money context. This is what I'm talking about. So these are the level. I'm not talking about your everyday situation. So please don't take that and compare. And again, I'm honoring Pam Bryant. And right now this video is talking about the racism they have launched continuously against black woman, black mother, Pam Bryant, Kobe Bryant's mother. All because she's a black woman. Because when we go to the tolling pole, Where's, where's, where are we at on the tolling pole? Now, we love ourselves. We don't put ourselves there. But this status quo society has put black women at the bottom. We down here somewhere. Not even somewhere. We, we at the bottom, basically. <laughs> I'm talking about down here somewhere. We, we at the bottom. We right at the bottom. Rich white man at top. Who won to control stuff and money and fame and who gets well and the, the rich white man? So he just crushing the black woman, Pam. She can't even get up on the breather of what came by something. Even in death, she, what, what can't. Nigga, don't get me wrong, white men. I'm not saying all y'all is crushing. You know, I'm just doing the dynamics of stuff. And I'm talking, not, not talking about y'all per se, but I'm talking about y'all and the Google Kobe paperwork and Google Kobe's, Kobe's companies, and then y'all can get all the different names of who we might be talking about. You know, I still don't even know what then those names are. But somebody is. Somebody is leaving Pam Bryant out. They talk about Vanessa. I don't know. Now, I like how Vanessa is fighting about the pictures. But then I also hope Vanessa is also making sure that Kobe's mother is taken care of. That mother and father are taken care of. They had Kobe for her to have those kids. My thoughts and opinions expressed solely. <laughs> so, again, Pam Bryant, I honor you. I honor you, Pam. I do this video for you, Pam, because I honor you. And I see through that bull crap.
And a lot of other people see to the bullcrap. You know, around the time of the funeral, I just posted, because I just thought it was so ironic. They didn't sit up there, and they ain't honored Kobe Bryant. And this is people, you know, he wasn't talking to her. And I just sit and I be like, if y'all don't sound ignorant, <laughs> don't know about, it don't make a difference if he was or not. Y'all know that is his mother. Now, I want to say either it was Shaq or Jordan or maybe both of them that did end up mentioning Joe and Pam in the family thank you and then sometime you know because you gotta watch the other family because then i think maybe some of the other family one other sister some to be all in with the mom too and uh, and so i just like you know you just gotta pray because ain't nothing wrong if pam wanted a house ain't nothing wrong pam asked for a house money ain't nothing wrong with nothing that pam and asked for non-black people do it all the time these rich white men get we just got finished seeing a thing on britney spears how her dad controlled her for I don't know how many years. Brittany is 40 something. Ain't she about 30, 40? Her dad is just now willing to relinquish control. If y'all don't get the heck out of here and crucifying Pam Bryan over a house and I don't know what else they talk. Y'all know this bull crap to me. It ain't worth nothing. They, 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 when I say bullcrap, because that was not worth Kobe, a mother and a son's relationship being destroyed or even having any type of strain. You don't let money come between. And I don't believe that Pam was letting money come between. But I can understand the, the, the parental thought and the black mother thought of probably she was getting a lot of people probably was addressing her negative. They had brainwashed. To me, it seemed like they had brainwashed Kobe, where Kobe started looking at his mother a whole nother. And if you look at all the past pictures, Kobe, his mama, Kobe and Pam was tight. Then that money come involved. They brainwashed Kobe against his mama. All of a sudden, now he's looking at his mama. And I know. I got kids. All of a sudden, you know, somebody get around them that don't like you, that's jealous of you. Your kid, they don't get it. They start talking negative of you. And if your kid is impressionable, you know, if they're under 18, a teen, even if they're grown, you know, they start believing the crap. And they come and start treating you negatively in a different way. And then y'all know I got kids. I got four baby daddies. So sometimes they get around them daddies. Ain't want to come. Now, again, not, not most because, again, I'm a good baby mama. I, I'm the type of baby mama that if I had a lot of money right now, I would make sure my kids dance the street. That's just how I am. That's how I, I don't want to be with none of them or nothing. I would make sure them and their wives or, or, or if they're with somebody straight. That's just me. But I know a particular guy, there's a particular one that sometimes I always want to. Why? I don't know because I never done anything wrong to him. You know what I'm saying? But every once in a while, you, you know, you know. Because you can hear them speaking through your child. And you're like, I know where that came from. I'm going to try to belittle you, put you down. You know what I'm saying? So here you go. Your child listen to somebody that don't like you. <laughs> and then they come back with a whole other different attitude towards you all negative me. Well, we as black mothers, oh, you ain't here to disrespect me. Oh, the devil is a lie. <laughs> you know, so I could feel Pam when she probably checked him sometimes. And maybe Kobe did get mad. So what? Look at what you coming to me with. And again, rest in peace, Kobe. I love you, Kobe. So again, I want to mention Kobe to me. Just want to be. And, and my point is, Kobe has passed away now. And I'm sure as Kobe is in heaven, Kobe is telling his mom he apologized to his mom because now, you know, you can see everything. You understand who was doing what, who really was finagling some stuff and who was lying and who was, you know, Kobe see it all now. And him and his mama good. Pam, you, you and Kobe good because Kobe see Everything you have been trying to tell him and what was what. And even if you did, did feel like, Pam, you did something, whatever. It's, it's over. Y'all at peace with it. Now, the problem I have is that you still got, not, not you, Pam. I'm talking about society. It's still out here doing racism against Pam Bryant. Why? That's what I'm saying. So this, this whole show is called Racism Against Black Women. So today, I want, and another one, because we just got finished remembering Kobe. You know, Kobe just passed away. Um, you know, um, it was the end of January because I remember it was the day of the Grammys. And um, I was actually down there at the Grammys. I rushed out because I heard something about a plane. Um, you know, but they never did say a name or nothing. And I rushed out of the house and went on and made it down there by six. So I was down there and was somebody, and that's how I heard about it. You know what I'm saying? So again, we just got finished doing the memory. And um, 
you know, I wanted to make sure I did begin to mention, I'm beyond and pay all year, but um, I wanted to at least begin to mention it today on this last day of January, and especially closer to the time where we, you know, have been constantly been remembering Kobe. Um, but anyway, um, so this racism that they're doing against Pam Bryant, it's not right. It's not right. So y'all plan to just try to talk bad about her and call her bad all her entire but you know what this is what i love and you keep going pam and joe pam and joe you know if you do happen to see some pictures of them they are happy and just and that's right that's what pam was supposed to do exactly and i love how they went to the funeral right because you're not going to stop me from coming to my son's memorial but you're not going to stop me yeah, okay that's fine if you don't want me to say nothing or like like people said too maybe they didn't want to say nothing in that capacity maybe they had their own private thing when they spoke when they were able to freely say what they want to and that's fine but i do like how they went because that was a powerful image oh that was a powerful image oh black people around the world was like i oh, know they did not you know <laughs> So we all were on your side. We all were on your side, Joe and Pam. We all. Man, oh, so yeah, that's what I was saying. So on my Instagram, um, I just happened to post a couple of thoughts. And do you know to this day, so this is what, two years later, people still chime in. Because I'm like, well, where is this coming from? On that post. And you have some people that be going back and forth. <laughs> It'd be a mess. I just leave it up and let them all argue with each other. But, <laughs> but anyway, you know, um, but this has to stop. Racism against Pam Bryant for being Kobe's mother? And over some money? Really, I really feel like, again, it's the powers that be. They want to sacrifice our kids. We raise our kids and we protect our kids. And then they want to get them and sacrifice them. Want to try to get Kobe to do some stuff that Pam probably seen when or whatever. And again, this is me adding stuff. So I'm not saying that any of that's true. I'm just giving examples of you know what I've made and vision, whatever. You know, so we raise our kids up, protect them, and keep them safe. And then our kids succeed and then they want to sacrifice them. And then when we will not stand by as black mothers, black women, and let them sacrifice our kids, then they start trying to change our image. They, they start trying to, not, not they don't change our image, but they try to make us look bad. They try to put us down, belittle us, and make us look bad. Now that is going on daily with black parents that black parents have to deal with. Teachers and different people trying to make black parents look bad. And it, what always amazes me is when, you know, um, they say that um, with uh, defects, people that come in and take people's kids, that they tend to take more black kids. That, and, and it amazes me because slavery days, the black women were the ones that raised the kids. So black women in slavery days have raised all these white kids. And now you're trying to say they can't raise their own kids, right? And that black women don't know what they're doing. I don't know how many times in raising, especially in LA, I really see a lot of the racism more human when raising my son here in LA. Where at times my son played football and basketball, so he'd get hurt and we'll go to the children's hospital. And every once in a while they'll try to take him in a room by himself or ask me to leave out and left him. I'd be like, leave out for what? You know? And I think sometimes when I didn't live, I didn't know my rights. Again, you know, you learn your rights and you learn more on your rights as you go. But I had a relationship with my son. And they come to find out, they be asking him if I had done something to See? See that mess right there? That mess right there. Putting the black mother down. Planting a bad seed in your child's head. As if you would do something wrong to your child because of the color of your skin. So you won't think less of me as a parent because I'm black? Sounds crazy, don't it? That's why you see me do comedy on race. I know. It sounds crazy that because of the color of somebody's skin, you gonna try to call them a bad mother because they black. Black mothers have to fight, not physically, but I'm just saying, <laughs> have to advocate for their kids. You know what I'm saying? And then they don't like when you're a smart mother. Oh, my son graduated from Hollywood High. I lived at Hollywood High School. They didn't like me at all. Ooh, wee. Some of my men, don't get me wrong. But I had to make sure I was there. I had counselors trying to tell my son he couldn't go. My son is completing his master's program right now. And it's been all over the world. But if I would have listened to that counselor or let my son listen to that counselor, 
Because she, she did not like me. She did not like that I was involved in my son's life. Oh, Lord. So anyway, and then you got black women that had kids by black men that don't even like black women. You know, everything was just looking right that night for, you know what I'm saying? And so he happened to get, and now he won't take care of his black kids, but he loved his biracial kids. Mm -hmm. You know, so black women, black mothers have to go through a lot. So I'm doing my Mother's Day tours. Mothers, tell your story. Mothers, tell your story. Because mm -hmm. black mothers go through a lot. So in this episode, as I talk about racism, racism against black women, it's basically talking about what black mothers have to experience. And then I'm highlighting Pam Bryant, Kobe Bryant's mother, because Kobe has passed away and these people are still doing racism against Pam Bryant. All because she, they wouldn't be doing no white woman like that. There is no way in the world. They wouldn't even do another race of a mother like that. So, you know, Pam, I'm for you. You know, I'm for you. And I, I plan on honoring Pam all, you know, I'm honoring her for my mother's sake. And you know what I'm saying? You're going to hear me talk about her a lot. Um, and, um, and it's cheering her on. When I say talk about me, it's cheering. I don't know what happened. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Well, I heard it. I don't know. But it's water under the bridge right now. What I'm saying is water under the bridge. None of us are perfect. The point is, I see society, <clears throat> this video, and when I'm talking about racism against black women, I'm talking about the society. I'm talking about you and your neighbor and racism. I'm talking about the money on who they get the money. I'm talking about on jails and who they putting in jail. I'm talking about who they treating bad. I'm talking about is in, in society, people who have power, how they are treating black women. They are using their power to hurt black women. Women. That's what I'm talking about when you on my show when we're talking about racism against black women. So they are using their power to try to hurt Pam. But I think I again, Joe and Pam, they beginning and Pam, you stay happy, boo. You do it. Pam, I want to see you do a book deal. Do a book. I don't got a book deal. Ain't got to be no deal. Um, you know, just do your book and sell it. We'll buy it. You ain't got to go through none of them. You'll make your money through us. We'll buy it. Online, you do your book and, and put on money straight to you. Money straight to you, Pam. Because I believe you need to tell your story. But it's up to you. But anyway. All right, y'all. So you all have been watching Racism Against Black Women docu-series. Where I discuss, um, I mean, black women, we deal with racism every day in different forms. So um, as we have been celebrating and remembering Kobe and... Um, we had some stuff again about how they still mistreating, even in Kobe's death, still mistreating his mother, Pam Bryant. I'm like, this is wrong. This has to be talked about. This is wrong. And thank you, Joe. I love how Joe is right there. Joe is right there and the other kids is right there. Like I said, sometimes every once in a while, I think I hear about one of them that may act like sometimes they have had to. I hope not, sisters. I, I actually hope not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know. And Vanessa, I pray for Vanessa, that Vanessa is there, you know, because it's one thing that maybe I don't agree with something or whatever, but don't be mistreating no black woman. Don't be mistreating the black mother of your kids. Father, it's just, I mean, you just, you know, y'all come to a thing where you can commute, you know what I'm saying? And then um, hopefully Pam's daughters haven't felt like they had to choose Vanessa over their mother. Which I'm thinking not, you know, well, I, I should hope not, you know. But like I said, sometimes these kids, you don't know what the society will brainwash them to do. <laughs> anyway, all right. So I'm your girl, Michelle Hope Walker. Um, and you have been watching Racism Against Black Women. And so I honor Pam Bryan. So you all can honor her too. Say good things about Pam. You know, say good things about her. If nothing else, tweet and tell them, stop. Y'all stop being racist against Pam. Let this woman live. Let this woman to continue to enjoy her life and living and her great relationship that she has with her son. Because I believe Pam has a great relationship right now. Kobe's in heaven and Kobe's seen all those who are trying to maneuver and separate him from his mama. Kobe loved his mama. All right, y'all. 
I'm your girl, Michelle Hope Walker. You can follow me on YouTube, Michelle Hope Walker Speaks. Uh, Facebook, Michelle Hope Walker Speaks, period. Listen. Um, Instagram, Michelle Hope Walker Speaks. I tweet a lot at Hope underscore Speaks. That's the line on the line. All right. God bless. And um, I dated it, right? This is January 31st, 2022. And I'm your girl, Michelle Hope Walker. We're honoring Pam Bryant for the Mother's Day. Mothers, tell your story. My Mother's Day tour. I'm your girl, Michelle Hope Walker. Be blessed.